Hey guys, Trains is finally out of beta. It's completely out and available on uh, Steam as well as on their website. And with that, that means the fourth route, which wasn't previously available, is now available. And so that's what we're going to play today, one of the sessions on there. Now, before we start, uh, now, first thing I should say is I'm playing on an i7 8th gen with a GTX 1080. So it's not the latest equipment, but it's good enough to play this game. Um, the settings we're using are mostly high. We're using the Trains Plus version of the game, which means we're on build 117669, which is slightly newer build than if you actually buy the game. I don't like that. You don't like that. That's not, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that. It should be exactly the same if you buy or if you rent. Um, but that's the way it is. Um, what we're going to find is at the beginning on the route, the, the frame rate is going to tank. So I've had a little few, a few goes that is trying to tweak the settings here. But later on, it clears up because it's not, there's not so much about. So I've, I've gone for slightly higher f fidelity, higher graphical, you know, setting because, uh, it's just not it's just not worth it we're just going to spend less than two minutes in that area at the beginning anyway so the sessions you get with this route ic77 which is the one we're going to do it's 35 minutes so that's a nice uh, time for video um it's i think there's three stations on this one that's the one we're going to do i'm not sure i haven't tried this one yet again it's 35 minutes it's a, not a high speed route this one's 55 minutes um as you can see, but it says construction work has commenced in the high speed route. ICC, uh, IC564 is ready to drive to Orgen, Orgen, I don't know. Um, but you must use the main route today. Expect a lot of speed, uh, a lot of speed limit changes. It's one of those. I don't like those. Construction work is high. Um, it's, uh, the IC is re redirected to the main line again. So it's another 55. These two are basically the same, aren't they? You've got a multiplayer you can play. That might be more fun to do. And you've got the usual quick drive session you can drive anything. So anyway, today we're going to do this one. Now this is quite interesting. Watch how slowly it goes around here. And then it's going to jerk and then it's going to suddenly go round. Not sure why it does that. So the text basically says, good morning, this is what we're doing today, and uh, don't mess up. It sets us off on also an easy mode. We're not going to play on easy mode, obviously. We press one, we go inside. Now we can go straight away. So we take the brakes off, put it into gear, 65 kilometers, off we go. Now, I'll pull this across just for a second. CP is the top one, 63. And we are, it does go up, but not very often. So once we get through this, this town here, after that it clears up quite a lot. It's quite detailed. Got to keep it on the speed here. Not sure where that one's going. That little shriek, isn't there? See, we've got 22 FPS at the moment. Yeah, the GPU is actually about 43%. CPU is 60, well, it is 80, but that's because OBS is running as well. Oh, 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 we're going above. And I was looking at that. Put the brake on before it stops us. There we go. 
It's what happens when you look at other things. Now, look at here. We were going to 250, and a lot of this will be speedy. This, I think the whole of this route so far, the sessions, is just based around speed. Now, it is different to the other routes which they have available, so it's good, I suppose. Let's get rid of the frame counter. We know it's not very good. It, we'll get to a tunnel, then it improves. I don't know, this speed feels it's like it's going a lot slower than it is. Right. We will be going to 250 in a sec. The back of the train's got to reach that mark. I think we can start accelerating though. There we go, 250. So now we can take it all the way up. Now we do set this speed quite a while actually. Now it says 0 3, so I'm going to presume there's three stations, two in between, one at the end. I don't know, I've taken it to the first one, the, just the tests I've done. After that, I don't know what's, what the route does. Now if I put the FPS on now, you see it's, it's stable. There's nothing around here, that's why. There's a few tunnels, but not many. There's no line side. Uh, cameras on this. Which is a pity. So that's gone green, so. Now we do another turn later, and it actually feels like, well, it's not, it doesn't feel like you're doing the turn, but we you see it, it gives that sort of motion, sort of sideways view. I don't think I've seen that on trains before. It's, it's probably been there. It's just I, don't, I tend not to do the high speed stuff. But I think from completion, I wanted to record at least one uh, session on this. Uh, then we've done at least one session on each of the routes which uh, comes with Trains 22. GPU is about 40. CPU is 80 at the moment. Oh, 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 oh. 
I'll go above. So I think it's here where you notice it. Is it here? Yeah, here. The sort of effect. Your head's been whacked to the left hand side. But the more the bigger thing here is the tilting track. Technically possible to do to do it before, but I think it's easier with a new build process. I might be wrong. We'll, we'll try that up in another video. Now, in a minute, we're going to see it go down to one something. That's where we have to start breaking. Yeah, it's one forty. So it was. The first station's just after here. So this is where I've taken it to. One eighty. Remember, this is kilometres. So that's our first station there. Now we'll probably continue to slow down. So that's where we're stopping. One point eight. Right, we're getting to the end of the platform now. Try and match the distance with the speed, really. Here we go. Now, the last two attempts, I got it to three. Come on, slow down. No, we're not going very fast. No, no, don't start speeding up though. Now, stop. Two. <laughs> okay, let's have a look outside. I go out there. This one's going to start going. So is that one? Oh, 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't care too much about high frame rates, man. As long as it's playable on a train game. It's not like it's a fighting game or a car game, something you have to react uh, you know, really quickly to. And it feels smooth enough for me, so... Right, so that one will start going. No, I don't know what's past this point, because this is as far as I've gone. So this is going to be interesting. Now, I know they, they go, and then we go. So, here we go, guys. Here we go. Got our one star. That star system's terrible. Right. Put forward, break off. Let's get going. The reason why I say it's terrible is because at Christmas when the beta came out, um, we I did a number of routes, and one of them was the uh, the snowy one. But halfway through that route, now we hadn't stopped, but it was about. So it's like an hour and a half that route, the driving for that route, something like that. About, hour and a, about halfway through, it crashed the game. It's like, oh, Mikey. So I, I don't really want to start the recording all over again. So I, I restarted it, but I physically moved the train to that point. And then we continued from there. So I didn't really cheat. I, I, I continued where I was, but I physically took, put it into edit mode, put the train there. And we started from that point. Now, the notable bit is that we hadn't actually stopped anywhere yet. And uh, because of that, at the end, because I didn't make any mistakes, technically any mistakes, I got all five stars. Now, it, it should really mark you more things than like, like that. Now, we'd have gone over, we went over speed then. It should mark you down for that. So, you notice this is yellow, this is green, that's yellow. So this isn't sort of an amber. It doesn't seem to do anything, we just go straight through it. Now that is literally as far as I'd gone. I'm not entirely sure why it's taking them. What, six months to get this route out? I don't really understand. It's a nice route. And routes do certainly take a long time to do. Possibly the FPS? I don't know. Certainly with the British one. Again, if you... Liscar to Lou, I think it is. Because that's a cut-down route from uh, a route some other uh, model had done, some other route creator had done. Now, I have I then subsequently, subsequently, I can't say the word, you know what I mean. I then <laughs> installed the full route that he had created. And it's far more detailed than the one they had. So they would literally, they just ripped out a lot of stuff to make the FPS higher. So I wonder if it's something like this. I, I, I've not looked into any of the other routes. So if they're real, if they were made by creators or not, if they were, but I, I suspect they are. Should we put it straight up then? I don't think there's a timer on this. So. Oh, that's nice. So we can travel near a river, are we? Into the tunnel we go. So I keep on the speed, because I have no idea where we're going now. That's only an arrow, means that's not our stop. 
just a marker, a waypoint. So obviously, good FPS in, in a tunnel. GPU is less than 50. 70% CPU. Right, so we've got a red. It's gone green, good. I think that... I suspect that whole route is just fast, isn't it? All the way through. There's nothing really to... complicate about it. Those longer ones are simply a bit longer version of this, I suspect. But you have to go fast and slow. Okay, so there's another arrow, meaning we're not stopping there as well. I'm not a fan of real routes, if I'm honest. I'd prefer a made-up route, because... A real route is designed simply to get you from A to B. It's not, it's not designed to be an event. But when you're playing a game, you want an event. You want things to happen. So when you're playing a, a game like this, and the only thing you say is like, hey, look, I've travelled near my house, perhaps. We're going downhill quite a bit now. Are we still increasing? No, we're not increasing speed. Oh, we are. There's our station. Right. Can we start dropping some speed? I don't know if we really want to, though. Again, we've got a massive tunnel. Is that enjoyable to watch? Is that enjoyable to play? If you were building a route for yourself, would you do that? I don't have a brake on, but we're not going. We're not slowing, are we? We've still got seven kilometers kilometers to go, though. Still doesn't feel massively smooth. Right, 140. We're near there anyway. So what's this station going to look like? I don't like the fuzziness around there. I think the shadows aren't working properly that side. So we're on the high speed, which is why the nice concrete below us. <laughs> So we've got 100 coming up, so we've got to slow down once more. There's the station. Again, we're dipping, but we're not... CPU is 80, no 70. GPU is 43. I 
we got to go? Two kilometres. Stop distracting myself. I should, I should have took more uh, notice. I wonder where that other line went. And we are coming quite slow here. Oh, this, we must be tanking. 2019. Yeah, we are. GPU is quite high. There's our platform. Can we get closer than two this time? I'm always worried that we're just going to overshoot. Lucky station, isn't it? Look at the left. I could put the Astoria on. We're not going to do that though. So look. That is an ugly station, isn't it? What is it? Could be 980s. Glass. Glitz. <laughs> I'll put that on there. Maybe we can actually grab. Take a screenshot of that. One of these can be a thumbnail. Now normally I would uh, get rid of that noise, but I haven't, I've only just installed the game. Now I do have the, this version and the other, the standard version installed. We'll try to get the differences on another video. Oh, where are we going? You can notice. Did anyone hear the whistle? I didn't. You think how long we actually had to wait on that last one? Oh. The one good thing, I, ah, right, like, click again, watch, the track stays. If you go and watch one of the videos from Christmas time, whenever you did a screenshot, the track all disappeared. So 100, and then we're going back to 250 again in a second. And then I presume, yeah, because we've got another two stars. Now what's the difference between that two star and the one star we got in the first one? There's no difference at all. Now this is why, I, 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 again, this is why I prefer diesel rail car simulator. It's made up routes, short little routes, things to do, and you get score for actually, and, and minuses for every time you messed up. Was. All right, so 250. Then we need to whack it up. So you can actually. 
Right, it's saying, ah, oh, look, what's this? We can go up to eight on there. But on this, you can whack up a lot more. Up to 22. Ah, there you go. The other thing I was trying to work out was the actual break is. It'll be there somewhere. Train break. What's this? I haven't even done that. That's the train break. What's that one? Pantograph, HS. Again, like stuff like the pantograph, we really should be able to, to you know, put that up ourselves. Right, so that's an arrow, meaning there's no stop there. Nothing saying about speed yet. Still no line side cameras. I'm, I'm consuming this number on this route. <laughs> this is the power going down there. I think if you learn the route, you don't need this. The only thing you need, might need it for is the brake. So I can't actually work out where that is. Shadows are on medium, they're okay, I suppose. Again, with scores, I'd like a benefit if you actually use the on, you know, the proper controls rather than these. I think it should be. We should. The thing with Caesar Railcar Sim there is you automatically get a minus percentage when you have any of this stuff on. You can individually switch things off and on in that game. Ooh, red. I go green, you are going green. So the more stuff you have on, the lower score, the top score you can get. I like that. Oh, here we go. Means we're going to see a, uh, a reduction in uh, speed soon. For me, what trains does well is what you're going to see mostly on this channel. We've, 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 
you guys have probably seen the most on this channel is uh, the creative stuff I think the, the driving is very much secondary on this game it tries to be something for everybody it, it's not quite there is it Quite enjoyable driving this. Here we go. We've got this. That must. There's the 120. Five kilometres. That must be the end station. And unless we completely mess this up, then. We be getting full. Yeah, we should be getting five stars. Could do. Maybe we will. Maybe they got something right at the end, which is very difficult to do. So we trigger another train. go 120 so we're not near the station yet then we're still three kilometers away oh we're going off into oh I didn't mean to that one to press F5 Well, like that. Don't know why, it's very simple. And not English, it's not actually allowing me to get that position I was in earlier. Right, so we've got 100 there. It's okay. We're doing less now already. Farmer trying to go under there to do his work. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's it. go. Down we go. That's it. Got 60 in front of us. Must be tanking. Yeah, it is. 16, 17. Which, you know, see what I'm saying right at the, the beginning, though, there's very few points where there's a lot happening on screen. So, you have to decide if you want good FPS on the whole of it, or you want, or you want some nice graphical sort of uh, elements on the game. I that we're going too fast down there. We're not, really. station there. Oh, this is our station. Not showing, is it?
So this is the end of the line. There's no one on this station. I don't think it's a real station. I think it's just a marker they've put in. I might be wrong. I possibly am. But there's no one actually on that station. That's it, we are done. Your score. Well, you know what the score is. It said at the top right. No, it says there. So, what do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think of it. Um, if you want to drive fast, then maybe this is the route for you. But no, we've done all the routes now in the game, which is good. That's what I wanted to do. So, uh, maybe we drive another one. Who knows? But I think the next video is going to be another look at the building, the new, uh, new Surveyor Tool 2.0 again. There are some improvements since last time, so uh, since uh, Christmas. For instance, they've got keyboard controls on it, which they didn't have then. Um, I still managed to crash the game, isn't it, though? Hmm. So it's not perfect. But anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press the little bell button. You know what it does. 